Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Oscular and today we are playing Epic Mickey. Now where we last left off on Epic Mickey, we are over um at the finale uh, well technically we're at the start of the finale for the paint path. But this time it's the finner path, so we will see if this is the finale or not. We'll see how long it takes us. I don't think it's gonna take us long because you know we don't have to do side quests. I think this Finner Path is going to be way shorter than the Pain Path. I already said that multiple, multiple, multiple times. But it's going to be the truth because side, tra uh, side quests, you know, they just, um, they really do, um, what's the word? They do really, um, drag you down in time and everything. But, um... Yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I did get Dolphin's achievements working. However, um... Here's the thing. Here's a couple things about Dolphin's achievements. Not every game is supported. I believe so far, every Wii game is not supported yet. So, Epic Mickey will not have achievements yet. However, there are GameCube games that will have achievements. I bet the... Oh god. Why? Why is it... Why is it having terrible frame issues? Hold on. I don't know why it's having terrible frame issues. I'll be right back. Alright, I can't pause recordings anymore. Why did they remove that? I don't know why they removed that. That is so stupid. Alright, I guess that's just time for me to... Oh, I was muted. Okay. Uh, I think I fixed it. I didn't really do anything, to be honest with y'all. I was trying to look into settings at, on my computer to see if there's like something bothering it, and then all of a sudden, randomly, uh, Epic Mickey is just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start working for you. Uh, Mickey? Okay. You do you, Mickey, I guess. <laughs> um. Huh. Okay. Hopefully, recording stay is okay. Because I had to change the bit rate because recently I had to use a custom bit. Uh, custom. Um. Oh god. So, like, I had to use a custom, uh, I totally forgot what it's called, but it's, like, custom, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, hey, there's a power spark. This looks like a power spark. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Alright. Um, but yeah, I had to use a custom, like, um, recording, uh, I totally forgot what it's called. I think, like, rendering or something, because OBS was not working whatsoever. And it had me at 25 bitrate, which I think is 25 frames per second. 
at least on the encoder. So I'm not entirely sure if the video is going to be fine. Because encoder issues suck with OBS. If OBS has an encoder issue, it'll happen like within a minute of recording. And then the encoder will just completely trash out the... The... The video. Oh, wow. So, Gusta always gives you a health upgrade. That is very, very interesting. Why would Gus give you a health upgrade for being good? Maybe it's just because of the final boss. He's like, oh, you, you need this. Maybe that's the reason? I don't understand. Because he says, I deserve it, but I've been terrible to people. I left a ghost stuck in that vase. I did not help the animatronics. Oh god. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just an infant stun log. What's the max of tickets I can get? We're at 2003. It must be a lot, right? I was expecting like a thousand to be the max or something, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's five thousand or something. Who knows? Oh, okay, let's see. At least the recording fixed. I actually went to. Uh... Okay. So, not... Not majorly. I mean, not the... The cutscenes don't change majorly, it seems like. Oh, god, the frames! Okay, it seems fine now. Never mind. Were you the issue? You might have been.
Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, hold on, just checking OBS. We're good, we're good. Okay. That looks like the last one. We should go check to see if the other areas are all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. When those platicles came down from the sky, I thought we were done for, but you saved us. I understand those shop owners are already reopening. That was quick. Wow. That really was quick. I don't care about plots. Alright, and so it should... I think we have to buy everything that we need to get before we go on. So knights, that is extra heart. I don't need extra health because we already get extra health from Gus. Uh, from each platical. So that should be enough for us. However, we're just going to check every shop. Just to make sure we got every item that we really need. Like uh, concept art and stuff. I don't know if we're going to go for every pin. Because I think every pin is going to be hard to get. But we'll see. Welcome to my shop, Mickey. Um, let's see. Don't care. Ooh, hey, a pin. Sweet! Man, that is expensive parts. I wonder if you could have came to the shopkeepers and sold the parts to him. If you could have sold the parts to him, I would definitely would do that. Sorry, Goofy, Donald, and... Daisy, but it is what it is. And then, of course, we need two more film reels for you, which we can get at the beginning. And yeah, I think that would be it. Would you like to enter Ventureland? Uh, yes, please. Oh, God, you. That water does not taste good. It reminds me of the water fountain from my college when it, from a couple of years ago. God, that's water it was awful. All right, so guys, if you don't know, um, I have been to college before, and I just done my generals. I am thinking about going to college again, where I do IT. I sort of want to do game development and, you know, go into the game industry, but I feel like I just, you know, don't have the knowledge and everything for that, and I just feel like, you know, technology, me with technology would be better, so I just thought IT would be better for me. I would definitely like to create a game, but I don't know if I would be able to do it. Because games are expensive, and if we do a flop, you you know, who knows if it will work well in the end. You know, speaking of, um, you know, creating games, uh, you know, the game Forger, the creator, actually, their dream was to create a game. And, um, of course, we got Forger today, but back then, it was seemed like, um, not a possibility. Like, it was just feeling like a lost dream that was gonna just bring him into bankruptcy and stuff. I, I don't know how to fully describe it, but it's a, um, it, it's a extra concept art that you can get from getting a few advancements, aka feats, in the game. So after getting a few 
a feat, you can check it out and see the story slash development of Forager. Which I thought was cool. They even have a beta, I mean the prototype for Forager. Um, it doesn't work on console, but if you do it on PC, I believe you get a download link and you're able to download uh, Forager's prototype. You have nothing to tell me? Really? Okay. Uh, goodbye. Uh, let's see. Anything else I need to do? Uh, no, I think that's it. Okay. In all honesty, I hate the single tickets because I always hate being, like, a weird number. <laughs> I don't know why, but... It's like, um... You know, it's always satisfying when you're, like, trying to get something and it's, like, a very cheap price. I did not mean to place that TV. Like, think of, um... Think, like, a, um, as if you got something and it's, like, came to... Uh, even amount like oh three dollars even it's like oh that's pretty nice that's pretty simple unless you're those type of people who like to spend <laughs> um like to spend uh three dollars and change nothing wrong with that it's just you know speaking of mcdonald uh speaking of that Yesterday at McDonald's sucked. It absolutely sucked. Uh, so let me tell you what happened. I was on assembly slash uh, initiating the whole day. So if you don't know what initiating slash um, the line is, um, your initiator is the person who. Why is there a thinner cup over there? That's odd. But basically. Uh, your initiator is the person who's in charge on the line. They're like, they're like the person who's charging um, the grill area. So basically, if uh, you want to let your initiator know if you're go going to do this or going to do that, like walking away from your area before you actually do that. Oh, is this one continuous one? Come on, dolphin. Work with me, please.
Okay, so we gotta take out these things, I'm guessing. Why is there paint? Ah, oh, yes, let me get you paint here because you need it, absolutely. For sure. Oh yeah, um, speaking of McDonald's, um, I, f I totally forgot what they were talking about for a second there. Um, so yeah, I was on initiating, and, um, my grill person just kept walking away. Would not tell me where they were going or anything during a lunch rush. So, the thing is, um, it... If people were to ask me, oh, can I go to the bathroom or something, I'm like, yeah, you, you can. But this guy just kept walking away, would be gone for like 30 minutes, then comes back as if nothing happened. And it was super frustrating because he kept walking away as we need stuff down. Like we need quarters and regs and all this type of stuff needed down. So I had to get off the line and actually start putting stuff down. And then we started having a lot of orders and then basically I was getting help on the line. Of course my assembler was there, so nothing nothing wrong with my assembler. My assembler was doing good. Um but what happened was, for some reason, the person who was helping us, the manager, told the assembler to make prep, right? Nothing wrong with prep, but it was in the middle of a lunch rush, and I had a full screen of stuff. And I was like, oh, she, the manager's gonna help me uh, during this, and I, I thought that was the plan. Nope, I was left on the line for like 20 minutes straight. I, not, not 20 minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes straight, just going back and forth, back and forth, trying to make sandwiches and everything. There was so many sandwiches too, there was like 8 McChickens, 4 McChickens, uh, 4 McDoubles, no onion, and all this type of stuff, and it's like, and then my grill person walks away, so it's like, oh, I gotta put down quarters and stuff, I, it was awful. I don't know where my grill person kept going. I don't know why we decided to give them prep. And everybody in the front was just talking as I'm just struggling on the line here. Uh, so yeah, that's how work went yesterday. It was pretty awful. But, um, yeah, I was glad because... My I can see my uh, assembler because they were doing prep, right? Um, and then they came to me to ask me where something was, and I was like, oh, it's in the cooler. And they said, did you need help? And I was like, oh, please. So we were able to get help and do that. Still, very stupid. <laughs> it's like, I was expecting somebody to join me on the line after you send him to the the assembly line. I mean, the do prep, which is basically, if you don't know what prep is, it's basically like stocking up on our ingredients, like lettuce, tomato, cr pickles, crinkle cut pickles, slivered onions. Technically, uh, dehydrated onions are on there, but dehydrated onions are applied to the patty. Uh, nowadays, instead of being applied from the assembly line. Uh, yeah. It was awful. I was like, I'm glad I did not usually work my eight hours there. Because I only worked six hours that day. Because they messed up on the schedule, so I was like, okay. Whew. I'm glad they didn't put me for eight hours. I swear to God, that would have been awful. Because as I left, I look in the back. 
the grill person was gone again. And I was like, oh my god. Is nobody going to tell him that he should not be walking away like this? Because here's the thing. When I'm on assembly, I am not going to get off the line to look for my grill person and stuff. It's, it's just not a good time because... Um, What was I going to say? It's just, you know, if I were to get off the line and try looking for the grill person, that would just make uh, the wait times even worse, and then it would just make everything worse, where people would have to wait for me to get back and make sandwiches, or somebody would have to get on the line. It would just be a total mess, so I, I decided to, you know, I just decide to just wait and see what, um, you know, do my job, and if I see them there, I'm like, okay, like, my, I'm, I'm really, I'm like a pretty messy with my words right now, because I'm probably not making sense, but basically what I mean is my main priority is getting the orders off the screen, serving the customers and everything, get, trying to get our times low, as low as possible. My priority is not to look for the grill person. Because they walked away. Like, I... Like, if it was... If I was not in a lunch rush, maybe, yeah. I would... were like over 900 seconds for a couple of them because of the, that whole fiasco. I'm glad one of my um, co-workers up front actually decided to help put stuff down and that did bring a lot of the times lower because of that. Because, you know, I wouldn't have to focus on me, myself, trying to put down things. So, yeah. There we go. Is it this way we have to go? 
Yeah, I heard the projector sound. Okay. Okay, let's see here. I hope nobody votes for this, uh, for today's, uh, stream. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow's stream. Because, um, I do not want to stream this tomorrow, to be honest with you all. Oh, because we're already doing it! <laughs> I should not have put that on the side. Speaking of which, I probably should look at the poll. Well, I guess nobody has voted yet. I should say people vote. No! No voters yet! Wow, we usually get like one vote or many within the first hour. That's weird. Unusual. It is on Monday, so I don't know. Maybe I should have done the same poll on the weekend. Oh, is that the gremlin who's inside? Right down below, in the glass. Why are you having frame issues? I wonder if it's because of uh, the latest version of Dolphin. Currently, I'm on a developer version because I actually have to be on a developer version for achievements to work. Sadly, achievements don't work for every game because I don't think there's a dedicated uh, person to do achievements. There's actually a thing called unofficial achievements too, where th uh, they are achievements that aren't officially verified by retro achievements. So let's say if one of you is were to make an achievement, um, you, I believe, have to win make account and it, it would have to be verified by um, retro achievements oh. oh there's a gremlin right there wait what not too bad, Mickey. I probably could have done it better, but it was delayed. Come on, let's blast off. Wait. There was a gremlin on the side of the rocket? I don't remember that gremlin there. I wonder what he did.
That was quite a crash. You men are out for a while. Oswald said to guide you to the control tower when you come out. Come to. Okay. Let's see here. And this, this is where you and I first met. Looks like the Fenner has flooded the place. Don't you think? Okay. Well, we can't go that way. Um, let's see. Nothing in here. Anything in here? Nope. Taste the power of Finner. This was painful during the paint path because I had a control issue, controller issue. Where's the last one? Because of the controller issue, this was a pain, but I still somehow made it when I was not running the whole time. Oh, wait, here we are. Come on! S uh, are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh, yeah, we don't have enough time. Okay. That was cool. Very, very cool. Seriously? Last one's over here. Uh, a bit difficult, to be honest, but let's see, what have we not done yet in this area? What is this? A chest. I'm guessing we already collected this in the paint run, but we'll check it just in case. We haven't? What? How the heck did I miss that? 
Out of all the chests in this game, I missed that chest? You gotta be kidding me, right? I must have been frustrated and I didn't want to check anything else in this area. But, really? No way. That, that is stupid. Wait, I, I, what? How did I miss the chest for that? That, that is insane. Oh, this eye, it's movable? Yeah, it's movable. I was not expecting that. Weird. That. Well, you see it here, folks. Always double check the rooms because you probably missed something. Giving us a couple sketches, it makes me wonder what we need them for. However, we are not doing the paint area, so it doesn't really matter. So the paint would require us to paint all the paintings, and yeah, uh, paint all the paintings, and then basically, um get the statues to align. But since we're doing the fair path, we have to destroy all the paintings. Well, I did nothing. That's one of the chains holding up the chandelier. Breaking all of them will cause that thing to swing around, wrecking havoc in this room. Okay. You broke another chain! If you keep this up, it's going to bust a wall down or something worse.
No. Only one chain is holding the heavy thing back. some health here. Never know. So I think the last chain... What's this? Hmm. I don't remember that being there before. Maybe, I, maybe I'm mistaken, though. back here. Where did you come from? Oh, I see. Yikes. That was loud. Looks like that wall was fake. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, look at this. The the pink, I mean the blue sprites which are the tints are going for the pink area. But since we did the thinner path, what was this a zints or something like that? Are going for the thinner area. That's cool. Interesting. So I wonder where... So there's probably a reel in here since it, we did the Finner Path now. Let's see. Um, hold on. If I grab that... Oh, the film reel is right there. I guess we do need to grab it. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Does the butterfly hurt? Man, that was the easiest film reel you'll ever. What the heck? That's so cool that you can grab the hat and it, like, makes uh, the world function. I think that's, like, the first projector reel that actually does that. Well, there wasn't really anything much in here, sadly, but pretty cool. Let's see you can make it. This is the fireworks control center. I used to launch uh, inspiring shows from here. Atop each of uh, these three towers, there is a battery of deactivated rockets. Activate them by climbing each tower and energize the gem you will find there. Once all three are done, race back here and it will be showtime. Even the blood won't stand a chance against all that firepower. I'll distract them so you... So that you can scale the towers. Let me open the doors for you. When you get back, we'll trigger the show with a remote control. Be careful out there. Oh, 
Here's a extra concept art. Sleeping Hortensia. Oh, you still do it? How about this? Have fun. <laughs> See ya! He's like, help me! We need to take out the plot together! <laughs> nope! Nope! No going back! <laughs> okay. This will be interesting. Yeah, Magnish, I actually need to paint. a chest. I bet we already got this. Yep. Okay. I am so dead. Oh god. Uh, we're at 1 HP. Give me health. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay. Let's see. Staying on to be honest. Oh, are you somehow stayed on the bottom, but I don't know how. Oh, so funny. I never realized Oswald has so many chandeliers. Good thing the chains suspending them are so strong. Yes, quiet. Otherwise, we would be, uh, goners. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Golly. Ah! Ow. Oh, God. Oh, why didn't you place the TV? I'm in the, the, the watch. Okay, it's fine. Well then. Ah. Okay. I'll paint. <laughs> Dang it. Why do I... I don't want to paint. <laughs> I'm a fitter person. Yikes! Oh gosh. Okay. Right there, gotcha. Aha! <laughs> okay. Ah! Ah! I don't remember him being so powerful or scary. Please hurry, Mickey. Why did you have to trigger our cutscene as I was. Ah! Why did you have to trigger a cut scene? 
literally triggered a cutscene where I almost fell to my death. Top of the towers are gargoyles that you have to rotate. Hit all of them to turn their heads and then paint them. They must face inwards to power the. That's the first batch of the fireworks. I don't know why... Um... <laughs> why that gargoyle statue went back in place and made the noise and everything. That was weird. <laughs> it's over here. Part where you got this. That seems pretty open. Yeah. Ah, I knew it. People want to see the FPV randomizer on stream. How do I always know that? Ouch. Oh, 
fine, you're making me paint in stuff. You don't scare me. L plus radio. Ah! Are you kidding me? Oh, great, we have to do that again. Let's get it back up here. It's still recording, right? No encoding issues or anything. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay. Oh, there's a concept art that I never got to. Okay. It's right on top there. Slobber charge. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I'm gonna be streaming BFBB Randomizer tomorrow. What a big surprise, huh? Alright, last tower. We are almost done, guys. Look at that, that's crazy. And it's only been an hour? The last, uh, well, 
I had to pause here and there, so I, it could be longer than an hour, but the, the paint path was three hours long. So, I don't know if, uh... By TV. No allies in this place. Okay, nothing up above. Don't think there's gonna be a concept to art actually hiding. Alright, so we just continue on ahead. to the next part. There's a chest down there. Uh, I feel like we already got it before, right? Yeah. Alright, chest. I think we already got you before, but we'll check it out. Yep, we already got you. I remember there was a chest that we couldn't get to, because I think it was because I didn't... I couldn't run, because my... Uh, control stick was not calibrated right. Okay, I am... Not dealing with you. weird. Usually I thought it was like, oh yeah, you gotta defeat all the enemies before you can leave. I don't know why the door opened. That was weird. Hmm. Okay. And here is the interesting tower, if I remember. This got me the first time. I was like, yeah, something doesn't feel like I'm like, hmm, why is the blood not coming to attack me? This film reel was like was actually real. Like if you were somehow to able to get to it, it would let you go somewhere. I guess the ripple, f other project, uh, projection screens don't have that ripple effect. So I guess it's a fake one, right? Yeah.
I'm shutting my door because Mrs. Arcana is out. And she, for some reason, really, I mean, really likes to be in my room. Not saying that it's not that, but she always likes to hang around my. near my Xbox. And I'm like, ah, you can't be doing that. <laughs> I don't want you to run cords or, you know, get hurt by anything like that. Or ruin anything by that chance. Um... Okay... I see. Ah, you need paint! I guess we got a gold pin up there. as well. Here we go, the final part!
Boy, I am I glad to see you. I got separated from Oswald after the blot grabbed us. I think we're inside the blot. When the blot grabbed me, I dropped the remote. Unless Oswald find it, it's gone forever. I'm sorry. From now on, I'll follow you and help whenever I can. Lead on. Oh, there's a chest here. Have I opened this chest before? I have. Okay. There's the heart. The heart. You must get it. That appears to be your heart. That means the block can enter your world when he gains enough strength. You must take it back before that happens. There! That's the vulnerability point on one of the block tickles holding your heart. Oswald. It'll be okay if we can weaken the block, but we must hurry. Uh, blow up some of these things. Here's the scariest part of this game, to be honest. That's so sad. The lost essence of cartoon characters consumed by the blood. So, uh, during my pain path, somebody didn't mention that they didn't know you can whack them away from you. But, either way, they are super... Ugh, scary. Like, if Epic Mickey was a horror game, this would be the reason why. You did it! One blotticle down. It looks like the, the lost characters melted when the blotticle was destroyed. I hope you freed them somehow. It is sad, dark, and crazy. It's like one of the darkest things in this game. I think everyone can agree that the... That the last cartoons are the scariest thing in this game. And also the darkest. Oh dear, it looks like the blot is spine defenses. Those splatters are like his antibodies, and we are the virus.
Wait, do we have to defeat them all? Maybe? Yeah, we might have to defeat them all. Okay. Yeah, we did, okay. And that's fine. Oh, up here. Our blocks are cool eliminated. got pushed right into it. No, he's so many more defenses. More defenses. Care about the sleepy guys? Okay. Beep.
character or uh, what DC was? Wait, is that Kate? What? Wait, hold, hold, hold on. Why is there a P1? I I never seen that P2 before. I'm serious. I never seen that P before. Is that? Okay, interesting. Maybe it's not Pete. Maybe it's just some random NPC. But still, it looks like Pete. Like he has the hat and everything. Like that looked like Pete. But no, he shows up in the cutscene, right? Oh my god. That would be an interesting plot twist. Just imagine we watch the cutscene and he's not even in there. That would be some creepy pasta type of crap. Stop sucking me. I get up high for the final shot. Alright, there we go. to my 
my lab, but not in the way I expected. After retrieving my brush, I peered down into the world I had created, then noticed something had changed. The wasteland no longer needed my magic. Thanks to the efforts of my apprentice, it had developed some magic of its own. Magic born of courage and wise choices. struggles we have faced or avoided, how well we manage time, enemies defeated or redeemed, the ways in which we treat others. And perhaps most important, what? the friendships we have nurtured or neglected. That makes no sense. Wait, what? How uh, was it, Harold? How does the investigator get a good ending? He's supposed to be like in the in his um private eye building and I think he's supposed to be like sad if I remembered and perhaps more perhaps even so because I brothers maybe I messed up and did a quest by accident I don't know that's weird what the heck all right let's skip the credits we don't need to see it all right well that was epic Mickey uh, the Fitter Path. That was very interesting. Of course, I do want to go check out the extras here. But we also want to check out um, that last reel. Oh, wait. What? Now there's a Mickey and an Oswald uh, icon. What does the Mickey and Oswald icon like identify? Does like, Mickey consider the, as the paint? ending, and then Oswald is considered the thinner ending? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but that's very interesting. Alright. Oh, we got 45 out of 50 concept art. I think that's really good. Very good. I wonder where the rest of the art is missing. Oh. <laughs> There's my thumbnail. I always like concept art. It was 
The concept art is very cool, to be honest. Very, very cool. Alright, let me stop the recording here, and let me get the re film here. Alright, since we're back at this part, I am just gonna see what the film does. Mickey, if you continue, you use Finner. Who knows what bad things will happen? I already have a safe state, so... That did it. The exit is open. Gate is open. Alright, and... Oh, there we go. Okay, I got scared. Let's see what the paint does. tickets if you actually do with the paint thing. I think it should have been vice versa, right? It's like, oh yeah, it's hard to get through here, but you do get a hundred tickets for doing thinner. Alright. So we have to do this for the uh, last uh, reel. So this is going to be all new. Okay, there's the film rail. There we go. And that's all the film rounds. Okay. So let's see what the quest line was supposed to be since we entered the right way. The Leaning Tower. I hope it doesn't fall. Interesting. Who's this uh, bell? Ah, I see. Well. back and when we get the reward all right so we are back finally here after an hour long of me just playing we are gonna see what we get for the last two rails so we get the quest from him right so let's see what we get i don't know what to say you've collected every reel in the wasteland that is remarkable I really pulled some strings to get you these. Your sketch capability for all of your sketches will be greatly increased. I see. And then we also got the cartoon buff. Okay. So our sketches are greatly increased, which we barely used. Huh. Okay, well... That is it for Epic Mickey. Can't believe uh, we're already done with it. We do have... Um, I also do have Epic Mickey 2 for the Wii. 
Um, you guys can let me know if you want to see that played next. Otherwise, yeah. Very fun, Epic Mickey. Um, I can't wait until the remake in, what was it, September? Very exciting. Very exciting. Can't wait. Well, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. My name's Oscar Lear, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody!